if how many hours we got? 106. Mm -hmm. 106 hours into your eyes here. The countdown is is real. We cannot get a what? Hey, ah, hey. I mean, ah, ah. What a wait? How you spell that? Why? <laughs> How you spell it? Y A R I. Where you see that? Set up your right in bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y R A. I mean, damn. Y A R I A H. Um, bro. Let me get that. Wrap me up and hold me close. Got me speechless. I can't wait, man. I'm scared. I'm freaking out, y'all. Like, I'm so scared. To do this naturally, I'm so scared. I'm gonna be a whole ass Papa G, a whole ass Daddy Four. Hurt them knees when you. That's wild, bro. Do you not know how wild that is? Like, look, it's here, it's here, Jean. It's here. We got a baby bag. She got her own bag, Jean. She got her own bag, bro. Fuck. I'm so. Terrified. Bro. And look at my look at my motherfucking wife back here. Like I gotta give it up to the to the wives. I gotta give it up to the wives. Like my belly's bigger than your like, head. I gotta give it up, bro. Like that is, man, I'm having a having a beautiful baby. I got a I got a loving wife, man. She she so she so thrilled, bro. Like She's so, gonna give me gas. She's so there, bro. Like she be making sure straight, bro. Oh, that feel good. Get her. She that's, wait, what, picking her straight, bro. She she just kicked you. She like put me the f down. She all right, all right, all right. All right. Y'all, this is thirty eight weeks. Look how big I've gotten. Yes, yeah, sir. Drop that low. She wants you to stop picking her up. I love you. Should we come like every 12 hours? How should we, how should we do this? We just gonna tap in with y'all. Y'all just make sure y'all available for us. So when we come through this rolling, y'all get the theater mother <laughs> rolling. Do you hear? Mm, mm. <laughs> gonna have another time if you touch me like that. All right, y'all, we, we gonna see y'all in this mother It's gonna be okay. Just breathe. Rather be with you, you. Yeah. Yeah. Rather be with you. The next day, and I'm finna set up Uriah's. Uh, uh, be it. Can't get out of the kingdom. We should get married. I don't even think that's the word. For this one. Okay, we got a little pink sleeper. And it's like an iron board. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, see how y'all wanna play it. Where's the instructions? Damn, is it another piece? Oh, it's right here. Goop, goop, uh, goopy. Pay attention, boy. I'm sitting there like, hey, where is it? All right. So we click these in that thing like, like so. All right, boom. That's done. I think y'all going here. I got a little inkling that they going there, huh? Oh, boom. Use your brain, boy. Who gave you this brain? All right. I guess y'all don't go in this one. What is this? Take this off. Let me see something. All right. Go back. Select the middle support frame and gently push it to the side so I 
Oh, it's down there, dude. Y'all just ain't pushed out all the way. Man, I don't know what I'm talking about. I got a brain full of reads. Mm, bro, stop feeling me like that. Like her daddy don't know nothing. You will have a frame click. All right. Sturdy. Lift the, huh? Lift side panel fabric over the sidebar. Insert in sidebar into frame. All right. So y'all want me to. What? We should get carried away. What is this? Five loops. Where y'all see five loops? In? So they want me to go and soup this up like them. And do they want you up here? They might want you like this. Or do they want it like, yeah, I'm thinking that. Then where this middle piece go? So y'all go third, I think. But my auntie used to tell me all the time, if you got a brain, you would be dangerous. And I'm getting real dangerous out here. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Something ain't right about this. Damn, my back hurting like a mom. It'd be a TikTok, like, you know, you a dad, when all of a sudden your back started, like. Had me do the whoop the woo right here, and then while well, I put, I'll just sit that in there. Where it go? Where you go? Turn the unit on his feet, place mattress with sheet into the bassinet. My baby ain't finna sleep on this hard ass thing. What the fuck? This thing hard, still. Um, oh. hey, Pinky, hey, poo poo. All right, that one ain't hard. What the? Something ain't right. Come on, bit my bro. I don't approve of my baby sleeping on this. I approve of my work. He's fine, bro. My baby back gonna be toe up, bro. Let me show y'all. I gotta do is add the mattress in here. But yeah, toe. How that's gonna be? Let me see. Ta da! Look at that. I ain't even supposed to rock this, am I? I think I gotta do something with this, too. Oh! This lower that thing. Ooh, bro. Look at that thing. That thing got hot drop. Look, it is just a dead. This is one dollar. You see, bro? What? What, bro? Wait, oh, sh oh! No, I go like this. It go like this, bro. It go like this. Cause look, 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 look. It's like a little, like a little pen zoo. Cause these, how she got that? These don't come off. How hoods coming off? How that white lady on the thing coming off? The white lady on the box hoods coming off. Look, look at her. I'm, I'm seeing these. Oh! Merge! 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 Bro! Bro, what? Bro! What? Yeah, what? Bro, what? Now, before I had you, I was out there pimping them. Shit. Man, I was in Memphis. Do you know what Memphis mean? Memphis mean making easy money, pimping hoes and style. That's what your daddy was doing. I was pimping them there. You see it? I was pimping them there, man. But I had to I had to go retire. I had to go put it down. Cause I, I had to time I had to go talk to God. I had to go talk to God. He told me, Jamal, I ain't gonna give you that many more chances to be out here. 
around. You got too many examples of f***ing around. I don't want you f***ing around. So, but I, you feel me? I was out there pimping on the road, man. Ain't nothing wrong with being a pimp. But you better, well, you, you can't be a pimp. You can't be no You can be a pimp. Don't be no I ain't doing that shit. Bro, I just did that thing. What? What is you saying? Daddy can do anything. What are you saying? Get the fuck. Come on. One tubby tubby. Two tubby tubby. <laughs> Get the f Man, we out here trying to get you ready to come. I ain't gonna lie. We finna go to Jamal's boom boom room cause this <laughs> shit ain't working. <laughs> this ain't working at all, boy. So like I'm in high school again. <sighs> we ain't on nothing today. We here. Oh, we got a little nice, little, well, you know, I thought you had a little beige in here. Ensemble. Help me, do you? Public affection, he doesn't like guys. That's a lot. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, you know what we could do today? While we don't get the kids, we could go get Overwise. Oh, we can go do that now. Come on, let's go. I'm done with these things. <laughs> She gained some weight in the yeah, face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we did a three. I'm just saying that, what, 20 now? Um, oh, that is how your nose looks right there. Bro, there. my nose don't look like that. This beefy ass nose. <laughs> look, she's in fluid, so that nose going to be skinny when she come out. That right there, that's you. No, that's somebody else, baby. I need a <laughs> DNA test. Stop playing with me. I need a DNA test, man. What no. they got in there? Why you don't bring him to the hospital with you? Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, got no band-aids in this room. No. That, that little crevice you have. Bro. That crevice you have right here. That's not my nose. I don't have a crevice like that. And then she's smushing the tip of her nose with her hand. Uh. Ew, no. She looks like her daddy. She looks like you. She definitely got fat. Yeah. <laughs> so, they pushed the induction back. So Uriah may be born closer to the 30th. Or in August. I don't know about no August, man. That's the thing. I don't know. But they pushed it back. So now so we're finna happy. go celebrate. What you wanna eat? Anything. No, nah, hell no. Nah, <laughs> Ice cream must be yeah, your levels was just high yesterday. Uh, I don't know. I don't want this white palace shit no more. What's new? Need something new to eat. We gonna have to. I'm gonna eat healthy food. Yeah, I don't want her to be nine pounds. Nine pounds. <laughs> she is. She is six pounds eight ounces, bro. I'm just sitting here looking at at this face in this in this pitch. I'm like, she look a little big. <laughs> Like, I don't want, I don't, I don't look. I don't know. I don't want no chubby tough stuff. I don't want that, Jack. I'm like, I don't know. She, if, if she's anything like her mommy, like the doctor said, oh, the ultrasound lady was like, she's a little peanut. So, Man. she could be a skinny chubby. What's skinny chubby? 
Like she probably got a big face, but her legs tiny and her belly not even big. I, I guess we And her thighs not even big. Cause I got a chubby face when I'm skinny. See? I got a chubby face, but I'm skinny. Mm -hmm. We we'll have to see. I don't think that's I don't know if that fit on her. Look at them lips. They look a little juicy. Now, who lips is those? Mine. My lips are bigger than yours. Bro, your lips barely bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> if bro, if anything, bro, your top lip probably wider than mine. Look at her top lip. But my bottom lip, I think my bottom lip beating yours, bro. Alright y'all, we gonna see y'all when we get wherever we going. We're gonna to go eat. get something to eat. How can I help you? Um, I'm experiencing very strong pe pressure in my um abdomen and back <laughs> right now. Um it's been going on for the past thirty minutes now. But if you're in the car already you might as well continue to you know, if they stop all of a sudden and you're you know outside and have it come in you can turn around and go get breakfast or something but your <laughs> bag of water's broke it's mm -hmm. not okay so um but the pressure is the pressure is really strong and baby is okay. baby is moving a lot and um i just want to know if this is um a sign to come in It's gonna be okay. You look nice. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually, this part of labor is actually best done at home because um, you can kind of be in the comfort of your own home even longer, and you really have to like—you can't even speak. Mm -hmm. Come back. Many times we see people back a few hours later. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. We're, we're happy to see you like as many times as you need. Okay. Do you live close by? Yeah. Perfect. yeah. That's perfect. So you say every about every three to five minutes? Yeah, okay. but I would say every three to five minutes, lasting a minute or longer for like at least an hour. Okay. Um, which I know it seems like a lot to sit through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the when we um spoke with Dr. Fisher, they was you know kind of giving us the five one one yeah, rule, yeah. and they was like, if this is going on, you know, get in contact with us because it sounds like um labor. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. Um, it was good to come in, but yeah. now that you're here, and we're nowhere one centimeter in an early labor, I would say, okay, now that that's happened. Mm -hmm. This is the next step when I would come back. Got it. I'm here, but I'm nervous because I am one centimeter. This baby is on the way. She's on the way. It's okay. I mean, I'm in active labor. Yes. Yeah, all right, relax. <laughs> it's okay. After the operation, after the operation. I mean, we went from Uno to one centimeter. <laughs> So that means we gotta play more Uno. <laughs> okay, well at least you get to go back home. You may get some sleep tonight, maybe. I would rather for you get some sleep, lay it down, and rest. 12 hours to 24 hours, I can go from one centimeter to any centimeter. Yeah, so I mean, we just gonna watch you throughout the night and go from there. About uh, 92 hours, 90 before Uriah comes. See, at first we was probably less than that. Who knows? They sending us back home because it's too early. We kind of called it off in our minds because we like, okay, Kayla's glucose levels, mm -hmm. your glu our glucose levels were regulated. They was back normal. So we was like, okay, in our minds, are we gonna have her at a later date? We probably gonna try to push for the 30th. The doctor gave us the okay as well after looking at the glucose level. Kind of erased the whole 98, no, 96 or 120 hours before we meet Uriah. It was filming like every night, but we kind of back on that schedule now, so. Here's now that this. I'm one centimeter, that's yeah. schedule definitely back. Yeah, it's definitely back, so. And then we got an update on that as well. So she's one centimeter at, Let's just say 90 hours and 
No, well, you did say less than that because that's today was the in, today is the induction. And it's so four o'clock in the morning. What like? Um, it's already four hours into the into the day. Um, you got twenty more to go. Yeah. Twenty more. Twenty hours until we meet your rival. Y'all ready? You ready? I'm ready. Oh, man. I'm finna have you break girl. your neck trying to look over there. I want to see my sweet baby girl. And I'm trying to bother her by eating this ice. I want to meet my sweet little child. I want to just hug her and kiss her little chubby cheeks because she got some chubby cheeks, okay? 20 hours until the end. I'm going to go. Can't even talk. I'm going to give me some sleep. I don't know about Kayla. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep because <laughs> I know that these contractions are about to kick my ass now that they jump started. Gotta we got to get some sleep. get some sleep. We probably drink some tea when we go in. I'm going to um, tell everybody don't bother us. We need some hours of sleep. But we'll tap back in with y'all once we get a new update on Uriah. How long was that take these sick? Day two, we was released from the hospital. Yesterday, five, six in the morning. Um, Kayla woke up today saying she was leaking fluid. <laughs> so that's a minute then. 15 seconds. The fluid, it ain't feel like like water for real. Mm -hmm. We just gonna wait. If, if some more fluid come out, you gonna test it and then we'll shoot up there to the hospital. How y'all feeling though? Y'all good? Y'all straight? We gotta get back to the job. We gotta get y'all some content. Okay, somebody is in active labor. She just lost her mucus plug. I'm excited, bro. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. So, I'm gonna tap in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tap in with y'all once we get in there. They talking about Jamal. Ooh, this is the labor phase they talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is the shit they talking about. Uh, oh. Okay, yo guys, it is 10.30 in the morning. Update, they took the balloon out at about 7.30 this morning. I, I was the Jamal had updated y'all. I'm still contracting, but they not as severe. Y'all, I'm just ready to get this girl out of here. This is a break. This, I'm, I'm actually admiring this little break that I got from the contractions. Well, those strong contractions. That balloon was horrible. But I'm five centimeters dilated. So baby girl could be here later on tonight, tomorrow morning. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure I might end up having her tonight. But I have to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna update y'all later, okay? So here we are, all alone in this room. Oh. And your right is nowhere to be found. Yeah. But we've been in what since one, no baby. She's five centimeters dilated with the help of induction. I didn't want to do. So we're waiting. Grandma's here. She went to go get the food. We got some fat guys. I'm just chilling, just chilling, waiting for, for your right to make her grand entrance. Nothing, nothing much yet. And we got a little more action. I'm gonna call you guys back. She 
try to more so swivel your hips instead of bouncing up and down, okay? Hey, how's it going? Are you ready? No, just being stuck. Okay. Yeah, so we all. I don't like this nerve. You gotta go. Alicia got your eyes. What you doing? Hey, are we videoing? Yeah, oh. Mr. Vlog. Oh, you doing a vlog? A vlog. A vlog. Video. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> Somebody is seven centimeters. Don't cover your face up now. <laughs> Come on. You ready? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You gotta breathe. I need you to breathe. Doing good. Okay, Kayla had to be rushed to do an emergency C-section. A little greasy. Baby and Kayla are okay. I'm sitting in this little room. Waiting for them to come. I get to see my baby. I get to see my lady. I'm happy, man. Happy, man. Kayla was in there really, you know, freaking out. She was scared. She was overwhelmed. But, you know, I kept telling her, you know, hey, it's okay. You need to breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. And it's gonna be okay. You gotta control it. But, you know, she was freaking out. She was overwhelmed. So, um, baby's heart rate kept dropping, it kept dropping, it kept dropping. Kayla was sick, she threw up. They kept like turn, trying to get Kayla in different positions. But once Kayla, you know, kind of tried to start to calm down, her heart rate picked back up, but then it dropped again. And they like, okay, you know, we, we gotta we gotta go do a C section. I think at the point when they, you know, gave said that they that's what they was gonna do. Um, your right heart rate had been, you know, too low uh for too long. So they like, all right, we gonna cut this, we we doing this. The baby's out, she's fine, she's in the NICU, I believe. But they just overseeing her. She's good. I know she's good. I know Kayla's good. And um I gotta be there for them. I gotta support them. And we good. We good. So once they come back in here, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, Oh, this is that little breathing I felt in my belly. Mm -hmm. 
Look how bad they are. Are you comfortable? How do you feel awful? Good. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Final night here. Yeah. Eating some chicken. I'm not supposed to be eating this, but man, she busy. This is our last night. We're going home. And now everybody like, make sure you guys get your sleep tonight because you're not getting it when you go home, which is cute, but. That ain't cute at all. But hey, I feel like all the hell my daughter gonna put me through, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be okay with it. It's my baby. Yeah, everybody say it's different when it's your kid. It hits different when it's yours, so. though. Whew! I don't know, man. I'm definitely gonna try to get some sleep tonight. What is it? It's like 2 in the morning. It's almost 3. The countdown is real. We gotta go to the NICU at 9 in the morning, so. Yeah, our sleep really gonna be cut short, cause. We gotta talk to them people in the morning. We ain't no, we ain't no, no. We just eating right now. But you guys, you're right, it's angel she's an angel i am in love with her i cannot believe like you know you ever get a prize and you like oh my god i won this that's literally me like every time i put her in my arms i'm just like you're mine you belong to me for the rest of your life like we we get to spend our lives together with each other <laughs> excuse me for being so corny but it's just like it's a dream. I was telling Uriah in my arms earlier, like, out of all the gifts I've ever gotten in my entire life, she is she trumps all of them. Like, I was telling her, I was like, your daddy gave me this ring. But she's, she's more important than the ring. I was telling her I didn't want to choose, but I was joking. Y'all know I love my daughter. I don't even know if I want to share my labor and delivery story like everybody else do. But, but I'm debating right now. Right now, it's a no for me. Jamal thinks I should share it. 50% of me wants to share it. And another 50% of me does not want to share it. But, um, I don't know. It's, right now, my labor and delivery story is not something I want to relive. So, when she ready, she'll tell y'all. When I'm ready. I know y'all can DM me and I'll let y'all know how it went. It's my story to tell. We'll see y'all when so we we'll right in the see you guys in the morning when we go pick up the baby and when they discharge us. Bye. Bye. Okay, I know we said goodnight, but it is currently 3.20 in the morning. And Jamal had reminded me to pump. And I, I keep forgetting to pump before I go to bed. So Jamal was like, did you pump? And I was like, no. So we started up the pump. And guess what, y'all? Guess what happened when I pumped? We got a little bit of that in there, boy. It was long and hard to... I've been trying to pump for the past three days. And I've been getting nothing. All the nurses are like, don't give up. Don't, don't give up. Keep pumping so you can stimulate those breasts. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. I promise it's going to work. And I was getting discouraged, y'all. But Jamal had an inkling. And it's just like, I don't know why he's so in tune, but he is. He was just like, pump. And then as soon as I pumped, literally 15 minutes into me pumping, I felt something dripping down my stomach. And I'm like, I got milk. I'm so happy because... My baby does not have to be on formula. I can do what I need to do for my daughter. Hi. 
Hi, you guys. We're back. And it is now August 5th. The last clip you saw was the 29th. You can clearly tell we have been on baby lockdown since we got discharged. <laughs> Yeah. But Uriah is fine. We're fine. Everybody's good. Um, labor and delivery good. story coming soon. I'm not good. Jamal, I haven't been not asleep. Good. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. If this is what being a father is, I, on the other hand, I'm fine. Um, this is crazy. This is what I do. Like, before I had a baby, I was up all night. No, I mean, I don't got no problems for real. It's my daughter, you feel me? Like, you chuck that up. But every two hours, <laughs> she crying for a bottle. Her diaper dirty. The normal stuff. The normal. He's complaining about the actual normal. I didn't complain. Oh, I thought you was like, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. But, um... No postpartum depression over here. I am fine, guys. I'm in heaven. I love my daughter. And it pays to have a support system. It pays to have your family around. So I think that's the best thing. My advice to anybody who is healthy and having a healthy pregnancy, do not get induced. Do not get induced. Do not get induced. Take that from us. Don't get induced if you could go into labor on your own please do that please 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 the only way you need to be getting induced is if something is extremely wrong if you're if you have gestational diabetes and it's crazy get induced but if you have preeclampsia get induced but if you are perfectly fine do not get induced you're forcing your body into something you shouldn't be forcing your body into mm -hmm. but you guys want to meet uriah should we let them meet Uriah? I don't know if you guys are worthy of meeting my daughter. I need to check y'all credit. What y'all do for work. Where y'all spend y'all time at. Do y'all wash y'all hands before y'all meet my daughter? Are the qualifications that serious? Yes. We can't just let them into our lives like that. We already did. And that is Miss Eaton right now. I suppose. Here is Miss Sleeping okay, Beauty. That's enough. What are you? It's that's only enough. been three seconds. That's enough. Five seconds. Bro, that's enough. Jamal. Ten that's seconds. That's enough, bro. Get off of the camera. Fifteen seconds. Bro. Here she is, guys. Show you her little body. <laughs> okay yo. thank you guys for watching our um countdown to uriah video like comment share subscribe definitely leave comments down below and let us yeah, know let us know what you think man. um if you have any questions for me about what i went through i'll be glad to share my situation with you guys and um yeah, because you guys know how bad I wanted to go natural, but yeah. And my labor and delivery story, I will tell you guys everything that went wrong. Yeah. Make sure y'all do that. We love y'all. Keep coming back to this channel. Uh, share this with three people, man. Please. And keep up with us so we can see how big Uriah gets. We got to keep up with y'all. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Mm. Wrap me up and hold me close. Got me speechless.